gentlemen, thank you for joining me on a video that has me sort of mixed emotions feeling in a way I'm disappointed. But on the other hand, if we always show perfect things, how can we also describe when things happen and why deformities happen without having a proper example in front of us? This is my CG Roebling, Blue Indigo. And yes, I was very surprised that the growth back here during the winter actually grew with a sheath beautifully. I have no problems with the fact that this growth has grown to size, but I was not expecting any buds to be forming in the sheath at all because I don't have the right light levels at this point in time for this orchid and the temperatures are definitely not to her liking. Still, I was really, really pleased to see buds and everything was looking really good at the early stages. As the lips started pushing out of the sheath, it was just glorious. I was really happy to be able to dedicate these blooms this time of year to two people that I know love CG Roebling. That would be Norman Torok and always something. Now, the reason I'm not gonna dedicate these blooms is because we're gonna be talking about why blooms become deformed. And I'm gonna specifically relate to blooms that are deformed on an orchid that otherwise is super healthy, has bloomed prior with amazing blooms that actually are so large, they span my hand. And now the blooming here, probably my fourth blooming of this orchid since I've had her, these are deformed. That is what I want to talk about. Not because there's a virus or anything like that, we've discussed that in other videos, but this is an abnormality based on the following factors. And I'm hoping that if you ever, ever encounter this in your collection, that this video will help you to not panic and not feel as though there's something wrong with your orchid and just anticipate the next blooming because more often than not, that is gonna be absolutely fine. So let me just go through what happened here. We have two blooms. We've got petals and a gorgeous, gorgeous CG Roebling lip as we should have. But we have fused sepals. You see how that all up there is a bit weird, very stunted. On this bloom here, we have a sepal and a petal, but everything else is missing. We don't have a second petal and the blooms are flimsy. Now, CG Roebling blooms as such are anyway a little bit flimsy, but their structure is not floppy. They do stand upright. They have a gorgeous tissue crepe paper texture to them. So everything has happened here because of the following. Major, major environmental change. It is typical that when buds are forming in a sheath and the conditions for the orchid is not correct, especially cold shock, that an orchid would start to get a little bit confused as buds form because it is doing what the hormones want it to do and it will continue to do so but it doesn't have the conditions to perform properly. There could also be a sudden root loss while the buds were forming and also not enough light for photosynthesis, meaning the orchids couldn't produce the sugars or energy to form normal blooms, causing the structures to remain fused. Now, sudden root loss, I would say totally out of the equation because if that were the case, while all this was going on through the winter, my pseudobulbs would be absolutely stressed and looking dehydrated and wrinkly, but they are not. They're beautifully plump as a CG Roebling orchid should be. There is no root loss going on in here, but in the event that you may find yourself suddenly with an orchid that is blooming with deformed blooms, when prior she was doing absolutely beautifully, it's possible that sudden root loss is a reason. Now, in my case, I'm believing here, there's the cold shock and a lack of light while the buds were forming, because if it was cold shock while the blooms were already out, we would be seeing brown ridges around the structures. On the lip, the petals, the sepals, there would be a browning. That would be cold shock when the orchid has already bloomed out. Everything you see now here has actually happened while the buds were forming in the sheath. Now, if you were to find yourself in a situation like this and you came to this video because you wanted some answers with what was happening with your orchid, other reasons for deformed blooms could be that the orchid was also left 
too dry. Anything that compromises the uptake of nutrients and hydration for the orchid to be able to bloom out will disrupt the formation of how the buds develop. And don't forget, not just too dry if the orchid has been sitting in water, that can also affect how the roots are in the pot. And then there, of course, are the usual culprits of exposure to hot, dry air. That can affect the blooms. That can also cause bud blast. Having the orchid near a heating vent or a fireplace, the air pollution from any source being, you know, a heater, gas heater, which in my case, I don't believe is the reason why these blooms are deformed, even though I was heating with a gas heater in the past, because this orchid is far away from that gas heater. And we know that any fumes, they rise up to the ceiling and she was on the floor. So nowhere near the source of that pollutant and definitely not too hot or too dry. Now the orchid as such is healthy. There is nothing else wrong with her. I've had a few scale issues which I have dealt with. They haven't returned. But other than that, the whole orchid is doing very, very well. Honestly, I was very shocked to see that the sheath was even attempting buds. It was a blessing. I just thought, great totally unexpected. But what happened with my winter so far has given me the opportunity to observe my orchids to see how they perform in adverse conditions. And I mentioned that also in a video with my Russian roulette with lights. Of course, I wanted to come out and say, well, you can not worry about too much light. You don't have to worry about the temperatures getting too cold as long as you keep your orchid as protected as possible. I really wanted to come out of this winter to say that many of the things that we think we need to do for our orchids, I would like to have tried to debunk them and prove that orchids can still bloom and still perform under adverse conditions. Unfortunately, we have our first example that this is not the case. They will object, either they won't bloom, and if they do bloom and the conditions weren't consistent for them to continue with what they needed to do, then the blooms will come out deformed. So please don't think that there's something wrong with your orchid if for many years she's bloomed well, and then suddenly she does something funky like this. Know that if you can address the root ball if there's a problem, or if you can address light conditions, or if you can address temperature conditions, that the next blooming is going to be absolutely fine. And you won't see this repeat itself unless, of course, the next winter or the next circumstances arises and the orchid is put through the same conditions that did not agree with her during a blooming where the blooms were deformed. Like I said, I have mixed emotions. Unfortunately, I cannot dedicate these blooms, but I know my orchid is healthy and that is the most important thing. I will not be able to change my circumstances and care for this orchid come the next winter. I will not be able to correct anything so that another blooming during this time of year would bring perfect blooms. I know that already. At least now I know what has happened. I kind of was expecting it. I was hoping for the best, expecting the worst and still a little bit disappointed. Just know that yes, I am upset about this blooming, but more important for me is that doing a YouTube channel, I cannot explain or describe what happens during adverse conditions. I have an example here now, and I really, really hope that it has helped you if you're here for that specific reason, just to analyze the issue with your orchid. Is it the environment? Could it be a pollutant? Could it be the root ball? And if none of that applies, just know that if you cannot put back perfect conditions for a blooming, wait until the next blooming comes. It will happen in more favorable conditions and you're back to your perfect blooms on your orchid. If you have adverse conditions in your environment and you're just ticking over and getting your orchids just to come through those conditions, would you let me know in the comments if you've seen anything similar happening, that you've got blooms which A, surprised you, but were deformed or smaller or the color wasn't right, anything like that? I would appreciate some feedback because at this point in time, my winter has been the first experience of me tiptoeing around, bringing my orchids through as best as possible. So this one's a first for me. I'm glad I have the example. I'm sad I can't dedicate the blooms. I really appreciate your time watching this video. Thank you very, very much. I wish you a beautiful day on one condition though, that you do stay safe, please. Take care, bye.